zero. Just so we're clear, next time we meet, you're dead. I prefer my master to not do what you did yesterday. Uh, Saber is far from a cold-blooded killer. She's... You want me to hide? Well, kinda. I mean, look, Sakura is a very normal girl. She knows nothing about magic. Senpai, your breakfast is getting cold. Be right there! All right, I gotta go. Listen, I'm sorry. I know I'm not getting my point across very clearly. I think I understand. You would prefer it if I were to remain here on alert until you need me. Yeah, I'll be back just as soon as I see Sakura off, okay? I really hope that I didn't hurt her feelings. I'm home! Saber? She's sleeping. And here I am thinking I had to hurry home so we could talk. What do you want to talk about? Ugh! I thought you were asleep. I sensed your presence when you crossed the threshold of the house. You can sense that stuff too? So, are you feeling any better? Yes, I was able to sleep for most of the day. I believe I've recovered most of my strength. You've been in here since this morning? Yes, when one's not in combat and sleep can be had, it's best to take full advantage of it. But that means you've been sleeping since last night. I'm amazed that you can actually... Someone's approaching. It's probably just Sakura. If that's the case, I shall remain here until needed. <clears throat> Something wrong? No, I just feel bad. Don't. I'm quite fine here. Wow, Sakura! You've really outdone yourself this time. Everything looks so delicious. It's very nice of you to say that, but you really should wait until you taste it first. Don't be ridiculous. Something that looks this good can't possibly taste bad. You know, it just dawned on me. She hasn't set foot out of that room all day. And she's probably not intending to either. Oh my god, this is so good! You have no idea how long it's been since I've had a meal of this size! Sakura, you get an A+. I'm glad you like it. Shiro, hit me! Uh, oh, sure. <laughs> Come on, Shiro. Chop to it. Oh, sorry. Senpai, are you not hungry tonight? No, I'm just a little bit distracted right now. I'm sorry. I can't keep treating her like this. Divide it up, we each get eight meatballs apiece. <laughs> Hold that thought. Do what? Sorry, but I need you guys to wait a sec. There's something that I gotta do. Hey, Saber. Uh, Let's go. What's wrong? Is there an emergency? No, I just want to introduce you to everyone. Just what are you thinking? Have you lost your mind? It's not right for me to hide you like this, said, but I don't care. Let's just go out there and play it by ear. I should have done this earlier, but I'd like to introduce you to Saber. She'll be staying here for a little while. Shiro? Saber, you can sit next to me. It'll be good for all of us to eat together. Deficient way to go about this, but are you sure? It's... I've never been more sure. If you're gonna be staying here, you're gonna be eating here. And that means it's now six meatballs per person. Over my dead body! <laughs> Shiro! What exactly are you thinking? You can't just let random girls stay with you whenever they want. You're not running a hotel, you know? What's the big deal? It's big enough to be a hotel wrong with an extra person or two. An extra person or two? You're saying there's more girls stashed here? Senpai, are you stashing girls? No, it's not like that. Would you guys stop with all the innuendo? But she's... 
look, Saber is... Where exactly did you find this foreigner? I didn't find her. She's a distant relative. Really? Distant relative? That seems hard to believe. It's the truth. I don't know all the details, but she somehow or other used Dad's connections to get here. You don't really expect us to believe that little fairy tale, do you? There's no way Kiritsugu had connections with anyone outside of... Well, actually... See? Doesn't matter. It's still weird. You there, fess up. Just what are you here for? I already told you, Saber is... I wasn't talking to you! Hmm? The only reason I am here is because Kiritsugu wished it. It was his request that I protect Shiro from enemies. <laughs> Sensei? All right, then. If you're here to protect him, I say we find out just how good you are. That's not necessary. All right. Come on, show me what you got. The only way I'll say you can stay is by the slim chance you beat me. But if you lose, I'll be sending your fanny packing. I will oblige, although I fail to see the point in this exercise. Fail to see the point? Have you never heard of a lion tossing her cubs in a ditch just to thin out the weak? This is crazy. Oh, put a lid on it, Shiro! The only reason I'm going to such lengths is for your own safety anyway! I accept your challenge. If I just need to prove that I can protect Shiro, this won't be a problem. <sighs> You're really walking on confidence there, aren't you? All right, Blondie. We'll just see how long you can keep that up! Ah! Is it safe to assume you are convinced now? <laughs> Just getting started! <laughs> Say your prayers! Oh. <laughs> if you'd like to keep going with this, I'd be happy to oblige. However, I think the outcome will be obvious. Here. <sighs> what? You can't be serious, Fujine! 100% serious! I agreed to this as your friend, but as your teacher, I cannot allow a young man and a woman to stay together. So I will stay the night at Chaperone. Look, it's not like that. Saber's Nothing just... Nothing you say changes that she's a girl and you're not! Okay, Saber, why don't you take the futon in the... I think you need to let this one go. Judging from that look on her face, she isn't gonna budge. But Shiro... Look, the compound is protected by a barrier. If someone crosses it, I'm just around the corner. It'll be easy to meet up. All right. Well, good night, everyone. I'll see you all tomorrow. Yep, bright and early. See you tomorrow. Shiro... There's just one thing I'd like to ask you. Why did you feel so compelled to introduce me to everybody? What do you mean, why? You realize that having them know that I exist puts us at a disadvantage. The better strategy would have been for me to remain in my room. Maybe for you, not me. I hated it. I felt like you were being trapped in that room. There's other motivations besides strategy. Let's get some windows open. Nothing will be gained from us staying here. <laughs> 